Horrid Henry's school election. Vote Henry for loads of sweets. Vote Henry for loads of fun. Vote Henry for president. Henry! Henry! Yak, 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 yak. Horrid Henry's legs ached. His head ached. His bottom really ached. How much longer would he have to sit on this hard wooden floor and listen to Mrs. Oddbod witter on about hanging up coats and no running in the corridors and walking down staircases on the right-hand side? Why were school assemblies so boring? If he were head, assemblies would be about the best TV programmes, competitions for gruesome grub recipes and speed-eating contests. Yak, 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 yak. (coughs) 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 Horrid Henry swooped and scooped up Mrs. Oddbod in his fearsome beak. (coughs) 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 Wait a minute. What was she saying? School elections will be held next week, said Mrs. Oddbod. For the first time ever, you'll be electing a school council president. Now, I want everyone to think of someone they believe would make an outstanding president. Someone who will make important decisions which will affect everyone. Someone worthy of this high office. Someone who will represent this school. Horrid Henry snorted. School elections? Phooey. Who'd want to be school council president? All that responsibility. All that power. All that glory. Wait, what was he thinking? Who wouldn't want to be? Imagine being president. He'd be king, emperor, lord high master of the universe. He'd make Mrs. Oddbob walk the plank. He'd send Mr. Battleaxe to be a galley slave. He'd make playtime last for five hours. He'd ban all salad and vegetables from school dinners and just serve sweets and fizzy whiz drinks. And everyone would have to bow down to him as they entered the school and give him chocolate every day. President Henry. His honour, President Henry. It had a nice ring. So did King Henry. Emperor Henry would be even better, though. He'd change his title as soon as he got the throne. And all he had to do was win the election. Shout! Shriek! Silence! Screeched Mrs. Oddbod. Any more noise and playtime will be cancelled. That was one thing that would never happen when he was school president. In fact, he'd make it a rule that anyone who put their hand up in class would get sent to him for punishment. They'd only be shouting out in his school. Put up your hand if you wish to nominate someone, said Mrs. Oddbod. Sour Susan's hand shot up. I nominate Margaret, she said. I accept, yelled Margaret, preening. Horrid Henry choked. Margaret? Bossy Boots Margaret? President! She'd be a disaster. A horrible, grumpy, grouchy, moody disaster. Henry would never hear the end of it. Her head would swell so much it would burst. She'd be swaggering all over the place, ordering everyone around. Boasting, bossing, showing off. Corrid Henry's hand shot up. I nominate me! He shrieked. You, said Mrs. Oddbod, coldly. Me, said Horrid Henry. I second it, shouted rude Ralph. Henry beamed at Ralph. He'd make Ralph his Grand Vizier. Or maybe Lord High Executioner. Any more nominations, said Mrs. Oddbod. She looked unhappy. Come on, Bert, what would you do to improve the school? I don't know, said Bert. Claire? said Mrs. Oddbod. More fractions, said Claire. Horrid Henry caught Ralph's eye. Boo! yelled Ralph. Down with Claire! Yeah, boo! yelled Dizzy Dave. Boo! 
hissed horrid Henry. Last chance to nominate anyone else, said Mrs. Oddbod desperately. Silence. All right, said Mrs. Oddbod. You have two candidates for president. Posters can be displayed from tomorrow, speeches the day after tomorrow. Good luck to both candidates. Horrid Henry glared at Moody Margaret. Moody Margaret glared at Horrid Henry. I'll beat that grump-faced frog if it's the last thing I do, thought Horrid Henry. I'll beat that pongy pants pimple if it's the last thing I do, thought Moody Margaret. Vote Margaret! Margaret for president! trilled Sour Susan the next day as she and Margaret handed out leaflets during playtime. Ha ha, Henry, I'm going to win and you're not! chanted Margaret, sticking out her tongue. <laughs> yeah, Henry, Margaret's going to win, said Sour Susan. Oh yeah, said Henry. Wait till she saw his fantastic campaign posters with the big picture of King Henry the Horrible. Yeah, we'll see about that, said Horrid Henry. He'd better start campaigning at once. Now, whose votes could he count on? Ralph's, for sure. And, uh, um, um, Ralph? Toby might vote for him, but he'd probably have to beg. Hmm... Two votes were not enough to win. He'd have to get more support. Well, no time like the present to remind everyone what a great guy he was. Zippy Zoe zipped past. Happy Henry smiled at her. Zoe stopped dead. Why are you smiling at me, Henry? said Zippy Zoe. She checked to see if she'd come to school wearing pyjamas or if her jumper had a big hole. Just because it's so nice to see you? said Horrid Henry. Will you vote for me for president? Zoe stared at him. Margaret gave me a pencil with her name on it, said Zoe, and a sticker. What will you give me? Give? Give? Horrid Henry liked getting. He did not like giving. So, Margaret was bribing people, was she? Well, two could play at that game. He'd bring loads of sweets into school tomorrow and hand them out to everyone who promised to vote for him. That would guarantee victory. And he'd make sure that everyone had to give him sweets after he'd won. Anxious Andrew walked by wearing a Margaret for President sticker. Ooh, Andrew, I wouldn't vote for her, said Henry. Do you know what she's planning to do? Henry whispered in Andrew's ear. Andrew. No, said Andrew. Yes, said Henry. And ban crisps too. You know what an old bossy boots Margaret is. Henry handed him a leaflet. Beware, beware. A vote for Margaret is a vote for a moody, mouldy, grouch-faced frog. Stop the frog invasion. Vote Henry. Andrew looked uncertain. Vote for me and I'll make you vice chairman of the presidential snack subcommittee. Ooh, said Andrew. Henry promised the same job to Dizzy Dave, Jolly Josh and Weepy William. He promised Needy Neil his mum could sit with him in class. He promised singing Soraya she could sing every day in assembly. He promised Greedy Graham there'd be ice cream every day for lunch. The election is in the bag! thought Horrid Henry gleefully. He fingered the magic marker in his pocket. <laughs> Just wait till Margaret saw how he was planning to graffiti her poster. And wasn't it lucky it was impossible to graffiti his name or change it to something rude? Shame, thought Horrid Henry, that Peter wasn't running for president. If you crossed out the T and the R, you'd get vote for P. <laughs> Horrid Henry strolled over to the wall 
where the campaign posters were displayed. Huh? What? A terrible sight met his eyes. His vote for Henry posters had been defaced. Instead of his crowned head, a horrible picture of a chicken's head had been glued on top of his body. And the re of his name had been crossed out. Beneath it was written, Cluck, cluck, yuck. Vote for a hen? No way. What a dirty trick, thought horrid Henry indignantly. How dare Margaret deface his posters just because he'd handed out leaflets showing Margaret with a frog's face. Margaret was a frog face. The school needed to know the truth about her. Well, no more Mr. Nice Guy. This was war. Moody Margaret entered the playground. A terrible sight met her eyes. All her Vote Margaret posters had been defaced. Huge beards and moustaches had been drawn on every one. Beneath the picture, instead of be on target, vote Margaret. The words now read, Be a toad, vote Margrump. The next poster read, Vote Margrunt. Oink, oink, oink. How dare Henry graffiti over her posters? I'll get you, Henry, thought Margaret. Just wait until tomorrow. The next day was campaign speech day. Hurried Henry sat on the stage with Moody Margaret in front of the entire school. He was armed and ready. Margaret would be blasted from the race. As Margaret rose to speak, Henry made a horrible, gagging face. We face a great danger, said Moody Margaret. Do you want a leader like me? Or a loser like Henry? Do you want someone who will make you proud of this school? Or someone like Henry who will make you ashamed? I will be the best president ever. I'm already captain of the football team. I know how to tell people what to do. This school will be heaven with me in charge. Remember, a vote for me will brighten every school day. Go, Margaret! yelled Sour Susan as Margaret sat down. Horrid Henry rose to speak. When I'm president, said Horrid Henry, I promise a goo shooter day. I promise a gross out day with my best friend Marvin the Maniac presenting the prize. School will start at lunchtime and end after playtime. Gobble and Go will run the school cafeteria. I promise no homework. I promise skateboarding in the hall. I promise ice cream and sweets. If you vote for Margaret, you'll get a dictator. And how do I know this? Because I have discovered her top secret plans. Hurried Henry pulled out a piece of paper covered in writing and showed it to the hall. Just listen to what she wrote. Margaret's top secret plans for when I am president. The school day is too short. School will end at six o'clock when I'm in charge. I look at my school lunch and I think, why is there a dessert on my plate when there should be more vegetables? All sweets and desserts will be banned. I never wrote that, screeched Margaret. She would say that, wouldn't she, said Henry smoothly. But the voters need to know the truth. He's lying, shouted Margaret. Don't be fooled, everyone. Margaret will ban sweets. Margaret will ban crisps. Margaret will make you do lots more homework. Margaret wants to have school seven days a week. 
there isn't enough homework at this school. Five hours of homework every night. Get rid of school holidays. Who needs them? Ban chips. Ban football. Ban playtime. So, vote Henry if you want to stop this evil fiend. Vote Henry for loads of sweets. Vote Henry for loads of fun. Vote Henry for president. Henry! 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 shouted Ralph as Henry sat down to rapturous applause. He'd done it! He'd won! And by a landslide. Yes! He was President Lord High Master of the Universe. Just wait till he started bossing everyone around. Margaret had been defeated at last! <laughs> Mrs. Oddbod glared at Henry as they sat in her office after the results had been announced. She looked grey. As president, you will call the school council meeting to order. You will organise the toilet tidy rotor. You will lead the litter collection every playtime. Horrid Henry's knees felt weak. Toilet tidy rotor? Litter? What? That was his job? That's why he'd schemed and bribed and fought and campaigned and given away all those sweets. Where was his throne? His title? His power? No! I resign! said Horrid Henry. <laughs> 